I went to college, I didn't actually set out to be involved in music in any professional capacity at all. I actually went for graphic design. At that time, I don't even think I really knew what folk music was, and certainly not what bluegrass and old time music were. But where I went in Lawrence, Kansas, was uh, there was actually a pretty good bluegrass and old time scene there. Would, that's kind of what we would do. We would get together on somebody's front porch and they'd pull out their instruments and start playing these old songs. Eventually I kind of got restless with just sitting on the sidelines. So truly without ever having picked up a fiddle or violin, I decided that I was going to be a fiddler. I went out and bought a cheap fiddle and worked my tail off to learn to play it. And that decision certainly changed the course of my life. That was the year I turned 20. So after I finished school, I came back to St. Louis for a job in design. I was also kind of looking for that same group of people, that same community that I had out there. Well, on behalf of the Folk School, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. The folk school existed. It started in 2001. I started taking classes there and just then just sort of started going all the time and hanging out with all the people that took classes there and then eventually got so involved that, well, I took over the place. <laughs> in my six and a half years that I've been director here, I've seen how, how the, the folk school's existence has has added to the quality of life and culture in St. Louis. This kind of music, historically and today, is often learned and passed on from person to person directly, learning often by ear rather than, by, um, rather than on a printed page. So it requires people sharing with, with one another. I don't think anybody decides, okay, I'm gonna learn to play, let's say, bluegrass banjo because I wanna sit in my room by myself and play bluegrass songs. People are attracted to this music and inspired to learn this music because it allows them to make these connections with other people. We're cultivating a community of people of all ages and backgrounds that are carrying on the tradition of this age-old music. Without that community, this, this music would not would not persist. I'll stick around.